This is my video response to the My Epic giveaway from Mr. Knives R Us or Knives Russ. Uh, let me see here. This is my video response. Uh, as far as uh, the number one requirement, as you can see on the screen, is who shot JFK. Um, well, as far as who shot JFK, uh, he was a backdoor dealing son of a gun, man. So I would say my opinion would have to be it, would, it was a collaboration between the Cubans and the Mafia. <laughs> because the Bay of Pigs deal, the falling out, left a bunch of people hanging. Um, the mob was planning to go ahead and and uh, be able to do a lot of gambling and whatnot that they were interested at the time, and Cuba would have been the ideal area for them to do that. And there was a lot of money to be made, and I believe they they probably I believe he had dealings with the mob, and then kind of broke a deal with them, pissed off him, pissed off the Cubans that were going to, uh, to try to get Castro out of there and and to kind of liberate Cuba uh, and all that stuff so that's that's what I think um, why you'd want to be interested you said you were interested in American history uh, why you want to be interested in that and kind of I don't know I mean the only reason it's just hilarious to me the US history all the backdoor dealings and whatnot I mean it's just one giant back to back to back to back conspiracy theory about uh, power and greed. I mean, so I guess that's if you're into that, that's pretty damn interesting. So yeah, I can understand why you want to get into uh, uh, U.S. history uh, because it's even evident today. But that's my two cents as far as JFK. Um, Lee Harvey Oswald probably did shoot him, but he was paid by. It had to be the mob or the Cubans or the collaboration between both. Um, somebody who may be more informed with history and whatnot, maybe like this guy's full of crap, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Whatever, dude. That's my two cents, man. <laughs> but anyway, uh, why I want the trans that translucent manics. Um, I purchased a few Spydercos recently. Um, I just started really getting into night collecting two months ago. And have my little channel going and whatnot, so I want to do reviews just like you do. Um, but I'm on a limited income, just like a lot of other people are now. Um, so as far as the spider codes that I have been able to obtain, um, you know, I have the ambitious and the tenacious or whatnot. And as far as spider codes go, if I'm gonna make the big plunge to buy one of the higher end spider goes spider codes, um, I was looking at the Manix too. Or the paramilitary, but definitely the Menix 2 first because the paramilitary is quite a bit more expensive. Um, so uh, I would probably, I would definitely carry it uh, for my EDC uh, for sure. Probably not at work all too much because I'd do some pretty dirty stuff and I'd hate for such a nice knife like that to get beat up. So I'd probably go back to what I'm using now, which is my ambitious or my tenacious. Uh, but yeah, that Manix uh, is something I definitely had my eye on as far as that. Uh, it's pretty reasonably priced. I really like it. Um, it's a good size. Um, and the translucent blue is awesome. I mean, it was between the translucent blue and just having the G10 or whatever. But I hadn't finally made up my mind yet. But I still, like I said, I'm kind of low on funds. So I probably would have had plenty of time to make up a decision by the time I had the money to get that. But if I'm lucky enough... And I end up winning this, and I won't have to worry about it anymore. But whatever, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Um, why do I like your channel? Uh, I like your channel because you do a lot of Spiderco stuff. And uh, to tell you the truth, at first I'm like, oh, Spiderco, it's all you know. All these guys are all hyped up on Spiderco and this and that or whatever. There's so many other knife manufacturers there, but um, you really don't understand until you actually purchase one. So when I finally did, I could understand. Um, ergonomics and whatnot are awesome. Uh, but you review a bunch of the a uh, bunch of spider codes. A lot of um, you're into getting the older discontinued rare stuff, which is really cool. The Super Hawk review was awesome. Um, you went through a bunch of stuff as far as um, your size matters video, um, so that was pretty cool. Another thing also is until now, I usually flip my spider codes with my thumb, like you see a lot of people, and I would see people flip it from underneath, and I could never get it. I'm just like. How do they do that and hold the knife and this and that or whatever. But until I watched your channel, 
I finally figured it out and I realized that you place your thumb here and then you flick it like that and the cool thing is is your fingers look all cool like you know your spidey web or whatever you know so that's pretty smooth but I didn't learn that until about 10 minutes ago before making this video on how to do that I watched you closely and you did it and I was like holy crap so thank you thank you thank you another cool way to open your knife and I learned it from you I may even do a video on my channel about how I learned it and I would definitely give you props so definitely another added plus on your channel um, uh, but it seems that you're getting a lot of um, you do a lot of reviews on the spider codes um, you have similar taste to knives that that I do as far as the spider codes and what you have um, what you own already is kind of like my it's my bucket list my spider coat bucket list almost down to a couple different variations um, there's uh, one large fixed blade that uh, um, I, the, the name slips my mind right now that I'm planning. Uh, I'll want to eventually get in the future at uh, Spider Co. But yeah, you got your your list is my bucket list as far as what I want to get. So you review the knives I like. So I'm going to keep tuning in. Um, I could live vicariously through your channel as far as when you receive your knives. So that's pretty darn cool. Um, so anyway, that is my video response to your giveaway. And I really dig the channel. I'm going to keep my uh, keep watching. I'm gonna start. I'm a new subscriber. I've watched like four of your videos so far. I'm gonna go through and try to finish up watching the rest of them because they really interest me. So it'll give me a bunch of stuff to to uh, do tonight, and tomorrow, hopefully. So anyway, uh, and um, another thing also, uh, my condolences to your uh, to your uncle um, and what happened to him. It's it's unfortunate. Um, you know, I thank him for his service uh, for sure. You know. I, I appreciate that 100% and I just want to say thank you um, I'm gonna try um, I'm gonna try to see if I can free up some finances so I can at least shoot you uh, you know shoot you a couple bucks through the PayPal or whatever I'll get a hold of you if I can get that through this week or whatever I'm gonna try my heart it's like I said money's tight so I'm gonna see what I can do but you know veterans dude I'm all heart you know 100% all for them and, and their sacrifice and you know what they do uh, what they do for us and you know like I said my condolences to your uncle and uh, I appreciate I appreciate his service so much it's not you know a, a hundred times man and I'm gonna see what I can do as far as shooting you a, a donation it's not even about getting an extra entry um, into your contest I mean I'll give you know if I can get that five bucks in there ten bucks sent to your PayPal you, you don't even have to give me the extra uh, entries in there dude I don't care man um, you know, if I could have the dough to help out, uh, you know, I'll try. Like I said, finances are tight, and I'm going to see what I could do uh, for you. But anyway, my video is getting to about eight minutes or so, and it's already a lot longer than you probably want uh, it to be. So uh, thank you for the opportunity to enter, and um, I'm going to stay tuned for more of your channel, uh, more videos from your channel, man. All right, you have a good night, Oh, and happy Easter and all that good stuff. Good night, bye.